What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Now that we have got the One UI sub o on the Galaxy S24 Ultra here, let's check out all the changes which have happened on the lock screen on One UI 7 when compared to the lock screen on the One UI 6.1.1. Let's see what Samsung has done here, what has they improved, what are the new features and new changes. So stay tuned, keep watching the video, this is going to be very interesting. And if you are interested in these wallpapers, you can check out the links in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper and while you download it, be be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead and compare the lock screen on One UI 7 with One UI 6.1.1. You can see when I double tap on the lock screen you will see a new animation or the transition effect on the lock screen and when I press and hold on this and unlock the phone we will enter the customization menu and this is where there are some major changes. On the top we got the wallpaper and a done option and when you tap on the clock here you can see the customization options have been changed. On the One UI 6.1.1, we have got the font and we have got all the clock styles and the colors on a one single page. Whereas here on the One UI 6.1.1, this has been changed. We have got the font color and we have got a style menu, two different menus are there under font color. We can change the font and we can also customize the thickness of the font or the boldness or thinness of the font as you can see. I can use this slider for this specific uh, you know, clock, we have got that option. But rest of the clocks, it is not working right now. Maybe in the future, Samsung will uh, enable this option. And then when you go to the style, you can select the clock styles. And at the bottom, we have got show weather information, which is also available on One UI 6.1.1. But show date about clock is an option we now have on One UI 7. When I enable this, we can shift this date information and weather information to the top. And when I disable it, it will come to the bottom here. That's one major change we have got when it comes to the lock screen customization. Now in terms of font, we have got more or less the same number of fonts. We have got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fonts here. Here we have got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten font we have got. We have got one additional font here. The last one you can see here. This is another additional font that we have got. And when I tap on the three dot button, we can download additional fonts. Now here on One UI 7.0, as soon as you open the customization menu, you can see at the bottom, we've got suggest, gallery, frame, and effect. All these options are right here. Whereas on One UI 6.1, we have to first select the wallpaper. Let me just select a specific wallpaper here and tap on done. And now we get the frame and effect option. Whereas in the current version, even before selecting a wallpaper, we get to see suggest gallery frame and effect option. We, we have the direct access to gallery right here. And we need, uh, when you tap on suggest, you can get some suggestions from the phone. You see, this is how the uh, lock screen is gonna look. You can select the one you want. And if you don't want it, just go back here and uh, customize the way you want it. Then we've got frame effects. Uh, which is also available here. And uh, let's see if we have got additional frames here. Yeah, we do have one additional frame here. In fact, two additional frames here, this one and this one. These two are the additional frames that we have. We can also change the color for this frame. Uh, let me show this to you again. This is a new frame and this is another frame that we have now on One UI 7. And when I tap on colors, you have got all these colors uh, auto picked by the uh, phone itself. Now let's go back. Now let me tap on the shortcuts here. You can see we get all the action options right here on the top. Let me expand this. And then we have got all these applications here. Whereas on the previous version, there are no actions shown here. All the applications are available right here. So that's a big change. You can now set do not disturb location, live transcribe, Dolby Atmos, uh, scan QR code option. All these options can be selected for the shortcuts menus here, which is fantastic. Now let me tap on the widgets here. Let's see what additional widgets we have got here. We have got battery, calendar, clock, reminder, Samsung Health and Weather. Only these options are there. Whereas now on the One UI 7.0, we have got Interpreter, Modes and Routines, and then uh, Samsung Health we have here as well. Then Voice Recorder. We can also set Voice Recorder option right here. Let me just select this. Let me remove this and select Voice Recorder. You see we have got Voice Recorder widget right here. Then we have got the Weather option. So there are a couple of options, additional options now on One UI 7, which is good to see. Now let me tap on Done. Now the next big change you see on the lock screen is the notification. You can see uh, this is the lock screen notification. I have hidden the contents here on One UI 6.1. And on the One UI 7 also I have hidden the contents. And you can see uh, this specific option is right here on the top left corner in a pill. Whereas on One UI 6.1, we have got this at the center. I'll tap on this. And this is how the notifications will show up. And if I tap on this pill here, 
this is how the notification will show up. Now this is a welcome change because uh, we don't have these notifications right here at the center of the screen which will obstruct the visibility of the wallpaper whereas on the current version it's very clean. The wallpaper is nicely visible with the clock and widgets and we have got the notification pill right on the top left corner. Next another big change is now we have got now bar on the lock screen on the One UI 7.0. Let me show you that. Let's first activate uh, any of the applications here. Maybe I will uh, play some music. Now the music is being played and I will go back home. Now what I'll do is I'll lock the phone. This is the live activity or the now bar on the One UI 7.0 which was not available on the previous version. If you are playing music that doesn't show up here. Whereas now you can just tap on this now bar to expand the song here. You can see the banner, you can see uh, this you know, progress bar here. You can pause, like the music and if you want to go to the next song you can do it right here. This is definitely a very cool change that we have. Now let me just lock the uh, phone and see uh, if that still remains there. I'll just tap on the screen here. Yep, we have got the music player playing right here on the lock screen. Even when you lock the phone, it shows up on the lock screen if you have expanded this banner over here. Now to uh, minimize it, I can just swipe up on the lock screen. It will again come and sit inside this pill. And uh, if I lock and unlock now, you see only the pill is visible. And when I tap on this pill and expand it, now if I lock and unlock, the music uh, banner will be available. The uh, progress bar will be available right here, which is fantastic. Now likewise, we also have a few other applications which we can run on this now bar. Let me show you that. Let's uh, open clock application. I will run timer here. And I'll go to the lock screen again. Now we have got the timer running here. I can tap on this to expand this pill. And you can see we have got a more detailed view. And then we've got the pause button or I can just tap on this X mark to stop that timer. Now while playing the timer, if I want to, let's say, uh, play music as well, I will play the music. Now when I go to the lock screen, we get both the uh, applications running which are running in the background available here on the now bar. You see we have got clock and we have got the music player here. I can tap on the clock to expand it and I can uh, tap on the music player to expand it as well. So this is a brand new feature on the lock screen now on One UI 7 which was not available on the One UI 6.1.1. Now let's compare the lock screen and AOD uh, menu on the settings menu. Let's see if there are any changes here. We have got screen lock type. I will tap on this. Now here we have got pin, password, pattern, swipe, none and then we have got a face recognition. It just says face here on the previous version and now it says face recognition and we have a toggle here to enable this and here we can uh, continue. Let me just uh, register the face here. Now let me register this and come back. Yep, I just registered my face here. As you can see, the options look different here. We've got a green tick mark or the check mark here for face recognition, which says it is turned on. But here we've got the toggle. And then for fingerprint also, we've got something similar here on One UI 7. And we've got about unlock biometric option as well, which we can see. And that's not available on the One UI 6.1.1. Now that's a minor change which we can see here. Let's go back. Then we've got a few other options here. Secure lock settings, always on display. Let me enable the always on display here. I'll enable this here as well. And uh, we can see now bar option here, which is obviously not available on One UI 6.1. Let me tap on now bar. We've got live notifications. I'll tap on this. Uh, clock, voice recorder, emergency sharing, Samsung Health, Interpreter, Maps, Samsung Notes, and Bixby. These are the uh, live notifications that we can get on the now bar. Now let me go back here. Uh, we've got modes and routines toggle and music toggle as well for the now bar. If there is any modes and routines running or the music is running, that will also appear on the now bar, which we just saw, the music we just saw and the clock also we saw. Now uh, let's go back here. We've got a few more options, touch and hold to edit, roaming clock, contact information, which has come here on One UI 7 now. We do have this on One UI 6.1.1 as well, but it has moved to some other menu. Then we've got widgets here. And here we've got show unlock transition effect option right here. And this also has been moved on this menu on the lock screen and AOD now. And this option was on a different settings on the One UI 6.1.1. And we can also customize the widget right here. Now I'm really wondering whether Samsung has removed this widget options on the lock screen. Let's check that out. Now these are the widgets here. If you have enabled it, it will come right here on the lock screen. When I tap on the locks on the clock or anywhere on the screen, it just pops up. All these widgets are available here, which can be customizable. But now let's see on One UI 7, whether we have this or not. I'll tap on the clock. 
nope, we don't have it as expected. Samsung has removed these widgets on the lock screen. Uh, I would say I have no, never used these widgets on the lock screen by tapping on the clock. Uh, let me know whether you use it or not, drop a comment. Uh, now it has been removed, so uh, I'm okay with it. I don't see any issue there. You let me know whether you uh, use the widgets or by tapping on the clock on the lock screen or not. And you can see this is the always on display with the now bar on. If you turn on the always on display on One UI 6.1.1, you will see the now bar also at the bottom. Now these are some new features and changes on the One UI 7.0 when compared to the 6.1.1. Let me know what do you think? Uh, has Samsung done enough on the lock screen? If you wish to have any new features, drop a comment and let me know. Let's discuss in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's all I want to share with you guys. I will be posting many more uh, videos about One UI 7.0. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.